and welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. <laughs> and I didn't think I was going to be up to anything today, honest to goodness. But I started thinking about the wreath that I had hanging on the front door and I remembered I was telling you about that in yesterday's video. Not necessarily about the wreath, but how I want to decorate out on the front porch for spring, summer. And I remembered I'd made this really nice burlap wreath, but it gave me a really hard time, I remember, because my wreath skills have improved since I've started my YouTube channel, you guys. And so I have decided, and I've been standing here and I was ripping this wreath apart, and I thought, you know what, I should do this on camera so that you guys can see that everything I conceive isn't necessarily perfect and doesn't necessarily stand the test of time. And I'll, and I'll show you why. Uh, and like I always say, I show you myself warts and all. And I think this is a good way to show you that, you know, even for an experienced crafter, and I consider myself an experienced crafter and decorator, uh, things don't always go perfectly right. So I'm retooling this wreath. I'm not going to take the burlap off of it. I'm going to go ahead and use the burlap the way I had it on this wreath, which is not necessarily how I would do it now, but I'm going to go with it because I have a lot of accoutrements on it, accent pieces on it. So, and this was the bow, hang on, that I had on it, which is a, a lovely bow. It's a lovely bow in the chevron. Uh, but I wanted to use that funky bow. Remember the funky bow that I made in the uh, funky bow extravaganza with the three different ribbons? And I wanted to use that. So I'll use this maybe in my red wagon decor out there somewhere. But I'm, I'm going to use this bow. I'm just not going to use it on this yeah, right now. And as I said, I don't want to go out and spend more money to do anything else for my decor in the next couple of months anyway. By the way, my craftoutlet.com order did come, so I'll be hauling that tomorrow in my live. Still waiting on Hobby Lobby. It's uh, 10 of 3 right now. They said it's supposed to be here by end of day, whatever their end of day is. So I'm hoping that the Hobby Lobby one is going to come too. So anyway, in the meantime, I thought I'd be working on this. Regardless, let me turn my camera around and show you what I've done and what Chris has helped me do. Uh, with a couple of the pieces and then all I'm going to do is add that funky bow and then I cut strips of coordinating ribbon and we're going to you know put uh, tufts of ribbon all the way around it and maybe add some Gerber daisies to it that I had that I dug out of my garage so again I haven't spent a, a penny to do this other than what I spent a year or two ago whenever I made this to do this wreath. So come along with me as I retool a wreath. So hang on just a second. I'm going to turn around and point down. And I don't think this is going to be a real long video, but it's just, I really felt like I wanted to bring you guys along. Anyway, here we go. I'll be right back when I get everything situated. Right Okie dokie, here I am. And this is the wreath that I'm talking about here. And you, pro some of you have probably seen this. I had these sunflowers on it, so I took those off. They were out in the sunlight. This hung on my front door outside, and these poor things got decrepit. So I'm throwing these out. They are not only are they not pretty to look at, but they're falling apart. They're real, they're brittle. Let me put this up a little bit more here, you guys. Hang on. And uh, here, you saw the bow, and then I had these tufted in all of the outside pipe cleaners or chenille ties and it wasn't enough I want it bigger and bolder now so I'm gonna get rid of these too so here's my funky bow that I made in that funky bow extravaganza so I'm gonna go ahead and tie this on and as you can see I use some red berries too so I have I pulled all the, I just had them tied into the tie, uh, twist ties, so I have all that here, so I may add that back in. But for right now, I just want to get the bow on, and I want to get some of my tufts, as you can see them, I don't know if you can see them lined up over there, right there. Got them in groups of three, and encompassing the three types of ribbon. Tie this on 
right about there. You can see that I have, hold it up for you for just a second. Ah, you can see that I have a birdhouse attached on here. Chris has helped me. He um, put a wire around it and attached this and he actually drilled holes in the backs of those and put a little screw in them and then uh, wrap tie wraps or uh, pipe cleaners around them and tie them onto the frame. And then of course you can see the wrought iron piece in the middle. This is a very, very, very heavy wreath, but it hangs on those, that wreath holder that I got from Grandin Road. So, oh my goodness, now I've got it all over me. So it uh, works out just fine. Okay, first thing I wanna do is, no, not. first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some tails for this bow, hang on. Pinch them together right at the end. I'm just gonna snug it right down into the pipe cleaner. And here we go. And of course, Got smushed. Okay. Separate them out just a bit. Dovetail. Here. All right. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to start putting these around and see how that goes. I cut this ribbon at 15 inches each. So I am going to try not to cut it down. I I really wanted it to be big and bold. My, my house sits back from the street, you know, and I want it to be able to be seen. As you can see, this is like a, I don't even know I can measure it across and let you know how big it is across and from <clears throat> top to bottom. But, uh, It needs to be big and bold to be seen, you know. Let me think. I think that'll do it, you guys. I like that. I do have a couple more, not burlap, but just kind of like that color that could go there. And I have all this 
and red that I think I would like to, you know, glue into the bow a little bit and maybe a little bit on each one of these to kind of camouflage the green ties that I just really do not care for, but not much I can do about those. I'm just going to play with it like that, you guys, and see how it looks when I've gone all the way around and added some berries and, you know, uh, these glued these flowers on. And we'll see what we come up with, huh? I'm going to let it play. I don't know. I don't have my battery over here even. I didn't think that this is, I don't think this is going to take me that long. So I'll let it run and probably just speed through this a little bit. Measure this fog. Got it. Ugh, 30. About 34. <laughs> yeah. So that tells you how big this thing is. It's massive. It's a big, big, big wreath. Which is okay. That's what I need on my front door there. Like I said, I need it to be big and bold. And I think you're going to be able to see this. It's certainly not going to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination. It is not going to be perfect. But... I think it'll make a statement up there, huh? I'll see that bow. Let me move this out a little bit. Let's do a little bit of adding of berries to the bow. Just a little bit. berries at a little local store we have here called Dottie's Den and they are ten dollars a tough let me tell you so I have used and reused and reused these again and again for many different projects this will obviously be the last time these tufts are used <laughs> because I'm going to use them all up here in this wreath Again, I want it to be big and bold and beautiful and take my jacket off. Dottie's Den is a locally owned shop. She doesn't, uh, it's not a chain store. I feel sure you could probably find these somewhere online. I don't know, I've never looked for them. Determined though to doctor up this wreath. Looking pretty good, I think, huh? I don't think my easel will hold this wreath up. 
can try to get it out and see if it does, but I'm not sure it's going to hold it up. You see, I've used these for the island centerpiece. And the kitchen lantern, meaning that one over there on the table. So these little things have gotten around for sure. I've got it. That's all I've got. <laughs> so it's going to have to do. Whatever I have, it's going to have to do. Let's see if I can set it up and take a look at it and see if it's looking anywhere close to decent. I got this easel, by the way. Let's see if I can get this in here. At Hobby Lobby, y'all always ask me where I got this, and I got it at Hobby Lobby, and it was not expensive. I had a coupon, I think. And it's actually made for, I guess, doing painting pictures. But I use it, obviously, for a different purpose. This thing is heavy as lead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this the, is not going to let me. Well, maybe it will. It's not going to let me because of the wrought iron. Stop that. So I'm actually going to hang get off of here and hang it over here on the wall so that I can really see what I'm doing because I don't have it hung up the way I need it to be hung up here. So I need it to be hanging like it's gonna be hanging on the door and then I'm gonna tweak it and then I'll be back for some final words. Okie dokie, I'm back you guys and I'm just cut three strips of each ribbon at 20 inches long. And I'm going to make a teeny tiny, not a teeny tiny, but a little funky bow. Just to put underneath the birdhouse and I'm just gonna cut it in half or fold it in half. I'm just gonna fold it in half. Find me a five inch loop, same as always. And I'm going to turn it each time. I just want a little bit of a bow underneath that birdhouse. Just enough just to add a little something something down there. Actually, I think I want I'm creating as I go today, aren't I? Every other one. So I wanted one more loop. <laughs> this just shows you can tweak 
as you go. Okay. That should give me enough of something, something underneath there. I have it hanging on my front door. That's the only place I could hang it. <laughs> end up to be one two three four five loop funky bow all right I'm gonna go tie this on and tweak it a little bit more out there just to make sure I have it the way I want it and then I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product be right back okie dokie everybody here it is I'm outside on my front porch and I am super happy with how this worked out. Trust me, you guys, I had no expectations about how this would work out. I did make one more bow since you guys saw me. One more little five loop bow like that one, just for there. Just to fill it out, it was a little empty on that side. I'm trying to back off, I don't wanna back off and go down the steps. <laughs> you can see the wrought iron piece in the middle and it is a little bit crooked. I don't know what happened with that, but that's okay. It's actually almost right in the middle of the two pieces, so it's okay. I'm the only one that'll critique that, and <laughs> hopefully you guys won't hold that against me. <laughs> but I love it. I think it's great. So this is the start of my front porch, and guess who came while I was out here working on it? Who zipped up the driveway like a crazy person? My mail lady, and guess what came? <laughs> my Hobby Lobby order. Woohoo! So I will have that for you in my live tomorrow. And I know this was a pretty quick, actually I don't know how quick this is going to be. Uh, and it is a surprise video and I apologize for that too. I didn't mean to surprise you and have something else. But I just got working on this and I couldn't stand it. I had to, I had to go ahead and try to do something with this because when I brought it upstairs I said oh my goodness Chris this is pitiful this is what I was gonna put on the front door and he said hmm I said ah oh, let me see what I can do with it and here we go I didn't spend a penny today of course in the past I spent a penny to make it but today I did not spend a penny and all this ribbon if y'all will remember I got on clearance after Christmas it was all Christmas ribbon and I got it on clearance so but all right you guys I'm gonna close this one out and I'm not looking at you I'm really sorry <laughs> that I'm not looking at you because I always try to to look at you when I'm finishing up my videos here but here's the rest of my front porch which is naked as a jaybird and uh, let me walk down here while I'm saying my goodbyes and I'll show you it's really windy so I'm sorry if the wind is hitting you uh, I hope that all is well with everyone and I hope that nobody is struggling and in pain whether that be chronic or heart pain hurtful pain and uh, I hope that there's nothing nagging at you guys pulling your attention away from where sorry about the wind where you want it to be or where it should be A really old wreath I made several years ago and did use never wet on it and it helped everywhere but these little things these did not I, th actually I might not have had the never wet when it hung out for a year so but that was a pretty wreath from the past that I don't think I have on my YouTube I'm not sure if you guys have ever seen that but anyway with all of that said I will see you guys, those of you who can make it. If you can't, I certainly understand. My goodness gracious, we all have lives to lead and I would never expect everyone to be able to make it to something like a live. Chris is behind me with a grill. What are you putting together? Oh, you got your auger. He's, he's planting plants over there. 
but there's one more look at that wreath. Oh my gracious. It takes, it's the whole width of the front door. <laughs> oh boy. All right. But anyway, for those of you that can make it, I will see you tomorrow at two o'clock. So I'll just say until then and or until next time that I see you guys, y'all take good, good care. Mwah. Bye-bye.